It is his Russ. You might be wondering what happened to Tuesday's video. <laughs> yeah, I was too tied up. Too many things was going on because of the holiday. So, well, Merry Christmas to all of you who celebrate Christmas and those who don't. Merry Christmas to you as well. <laughs> So, uh, how did your Christmas go? Did you get a lot of presents? Any e-bikes out there? Hey, if you got an e-bike, put a comment. I want to find out what kind you got and who gave it to you, okay? All right, so anyway, if you bought it yourself, too, that's okay, too. Couldn't put that down. <laughs> I know a lot of people buy it for themselves. I mean, the deals are there, right? So, if you, if you miss it, yeah, you don't want to miss it. But some of them have end-of-year sales, too. There's an excuse for a sale all the time. Just keep your eyes open, okay? So so what did I get? Did I get any e-bikes? No, did not get another e-bike. But I did get an e-bike-related present, okay? Here's here's one my daughter and son-in-law got me. <laughs> yeah, what's in the box? Uh, it says Ultra Merino. And inside the box, yeah, this is a... This is a shirt from, what does this thing say? Ku, Kui? <laughs> I can't pronounce this. K-U-I-U. -U. Yeah, this is, a, this is a, a long sleeve uh, shirt that I will wear to keep myself a little bit warmer. And also to keep, uh, keep the, um, what am I trying to keep off? <laughs> trying to keep the sun off of me, yeah. Um, as you know, uh, this past year, well, actually even the last year as well, you know, I get really suntanned during riding season. Yeah, I, I don't put sunscreen on, which I really kind of should. And um, yeah, my face gets all dark. My, my hands, okay, my hands do not get dark because I usually wear riding gloves, but you can see the, the edges of my fingers right here. This will be dark. The rest of the hand will be, will be light. <laughs> Do I still see it? It's it's kind of gone off most of it, but I still slightly faintly see the the suntan still on my hands. So uh, yeah, they bought me a black one. Um, I don't know when they gave it to me. Maybe it was my birthday last year. I don't I don't know. They gave me <laughs> they gave me one, uh, and then uh, they got me another one this year, which is a different one. The, the other one was mostly I think polyester. This one is like seventy percent wool and thirty percent polyester. And so this, this should be a little bit nicer, and it's a light gray rather than a black. So I'll be riding that, uh, riding with that during this season, probably in, uh, well, probably throughout the year. <laughs> because, uh, you know, like I said, it's not just to keep me warm. It'll help me keep, keep me warm a little bit, but also it's really to help keep the sun off of me because my arms will get really, really dark. <laughs> You know, I always wear these these black shirts. Oh, you can see a little bit here still. Like you, you can still see it. Yeah, I'm usually this color, not this color. <laughs> All right. So the uh, the suntan really uh, affects me too much. I I really need to protect a little bit more. Anyway, that's what I got. And um, so did we host Christmas this year? Well, we were planning to, but we were strongly encouraged to, to cancel Christmas this year. Yeah. Yeah, so um, several uh, people uh, had gotten sick in uh, not our family, in the in the extended family, right? So on my on my wife's side, so uh, they they gotten sick, and so they said with uh, so many people getting sick, they encouraged us to cancel it. You know, of course, at that time we've already purchased all of the food and everything, so yeah, we're stocked, man. <laughs> so we had our 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 daughter and son-in-law came over instead. And uh, yeah, we didn't eat all of the food that we had planned for that. We, we actually purchased some steaks because my son-in-law likes to have steaks. So what we did is we sous vide the steaks. Yeah, he bought me a sous vide unit a couple years ago. And uh, so we, we did it once before. It came out really good. So we said, hey, let's do it again. So we sous vide the steaks and uh, he seasoned it up. I threw it in the sous vide and then he um, seared the steaks in my vintage black lock cast iron skillet now if you know anything about cast iron you know that nobody really knows truly what the black lock skillets are now there is a black lock skillet line from um from lodge corporation who's a, he's a huge cast iron company of course but uh black lock was the predecessor to lodge i believe it was i think it was joseph lodge who's the founder of lodge i think it was his his pastor or something like that had a foundry or something they called Blacklock, and then that that foundry burnt down, and so all the records 
about the skillets went along with it. So nobody in today's time truly knows what a black lock skillet is, but from uh, information handed down through the, to, through the lodge company and the like, there's certain specifications. They said, you know, if it's truly a black lock, it probably has this feature and that feature and all that. So uh, we believe, and, and we often call these now possible black lock skillets. Yeah, I'll show you a photo of the black lock skillet that I have here. Now, how do we know that this is truly a black lock skillet? Well, uh, a friend of mine who is also into cast iron and the like, she sent the photos to Lodge, <laughs> photos of my skillet, and asked them, is this truly a black lock skillet? And they came back with the response that based on what they see and everything that they know about black lock skillets, original black lock skillets, they said, this could very well be one of the originals. <laughs> so it's the oldest, oldest uh, skillet that I have. And I think those date back between 1890-something, I think mid-1890s mid, mid -1890s, uh, through like 1910, something like that. I'll find out the, the true dates, and I'll put a graphic up there. But yeah, that's the oldest one I have. It happens to have the, the most smoothest <laughs> finish on the inside, probably because it's been used for so long. And um, yeah, I was lucky to get a hold of one. And uh, I, I don't remember how much I paid for it, but... It wasn't cheap, <laughs> and um, it it performs really well. It's the, probably the skillet that performs the best for me because it's so old. It's it's so seasoned. I mean, you almost you can't even mess up the seasoning on this thing. <laughs> so, anyways, we always use that one to uh, to to to, uh, to to do things like searing of steaks and stuff like that, or if we have to, uh, you know, if, if you're if you're gonna fry something, that that's the one to use. It just keeps building up that that uh, that. Uh, cast iron um, seasoning so uh, yeah one day that that skillet will go to my daughter and son-in-law but right now it's still mine <laughs> yeah he, he bought me a field um, number eight as well as a cover for that as well it's kind of a limited edition uh, uh, cast iron cover but anyway yeah I have a lot of skillets let me show you all the other skillets <laughs> I used to have more I gave him an entire set of Wagner Wagner wear uh, skillets um, gave it to him. Uh, but, you know, I had so many that, you know, it got to the point where I'm never going to use all these things. And just collecting it at my age, I just said, nah, I don't, I don't need to collect all this stuff anymore. <laughs> so I offered it to him and he, he took it. And he uses other skillets and stuff too. So he's a big cast iron guy as well. The funny thing is, is my, my daughter told me once when I was collecting all these cast iron skillets, she goes, Dad, don't buy any more. I don't want to inherit all this stuff. <laughs> and then she goes and marries a guy who actually is into it as well. <laughs> and then all of my stuff will be going in with all of his stuff, so she's going to have a ton of iron. Uh, anyway, this, that's what that's what uh, what we did. Now, uh, so so that was, uh, when did they come? They came on Christmas Day. So it was just the four of us for Christmas Day. And then all the other family members, they, they did whatever they did. <laughs> okay. And so the next day, um, my... Uh, a couple of our nieces um, asked us, you know, how we were doing. And then uh, my, my wife invited them to come on over because they were shopping and stuff. They might come on over, have lunch. So we had a late lunch. And so I uh, smoked up some of the ribs. <laughs> All right, now these are not the exact ribs that I smoked up, but I'll give you an example of what we usually smoke up. Yeah, I, I have a lot of smokers in the backyard. Like I mentioned, I have uh, three uh, Weber Smoky Mountain smokers, the small, medium, and the large. And, uh, you know, a whole bunch of other grills and things like that. So I smoked it up in the middle size smoker. I, I smoked up three racks of ribs uh, that we got from Costco. And then um, what else did we do? Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> we got so much food around here. But anyways, we, we, we had them over and then they, um, they had some ribs and stuff. And they took some ribs home as well. They gave us a bunch of things as, as well. So... Yeah, that that was good, but you know, it, you know, if we didn't if we didn't do that, we we'd have all this all the supplies anyways. It's just the two of us, and we can't <laughs> can't eat all of that stuff and tons and tons of ribs. Well, maybe I can. <laughs> oh, we had lobsters too. We had lobsters actually on Christmas Day. Um, besides the, the the steaks for my daughter and son-in-law, we we my wife uh, cooked up some some lobster tails, and so yeah, we still have a whole bunch of lobster tails and things like that. We didn't do that again on Monday, but. Um, yeah, we did. Uh, we did ribs. 
that's what we did for the weekend. But with all the stuff going on, and then of course cleaning up everything, you know, cleaning up the smoker is kind of a hassle. And then, um, uh, you know, doing all the dishes and everything afterwards, uh, you know, I was just too tired out. I just said, yeah, I need to have a video ready for Tuesday, but I says, I'm too tired. <laughs> so we didn't do anything um, uh, for, for after that. I, I didn't have enough time to do a video for Tuesday. So here you go for a video for Thursday. Now, will we have a, a video for Saturday or, or, or the following Tuesday, which is after the New Year's? Yeah, play it by ear. <laughs> You know, the holidays is tough. I'm telling you, there's just too many things to do. Plus, uh, my birthday is uh, coming up in mid-January, and my daughter and I have the same date for our birthday. So, uh, yeah, we, we celebrate three things within a, a month and a half or so. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a little bit too much. So, yeah, just kind of keep an eye on things. If I'm a little late, you know, we'll get back to a regular schedule. But, you know, during the holidays, this holiday, holidays is tough to deal with sometimes. Can't stay on schedule sometimes. Anyways, just wanted to give you an update what we did. Put a comment in the comments below what you did. We're always curious what other people do during the holiday season. So, anyways, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I'll talk to you when I talk to you. <laughs> See you guys later.